The Freestone Eco retaining wall system is a sustainable DIY retaining wall which is manufactured using recycled glass aggregates. The environmental benefits are enormous as natural aggregates such as sand are replaced in manufacture with a byproduct derived from curbside recycled glass. Additionally, cement usage is reduced by 10% which importantly reduces carbon dioxide emissions. Each Freestone Eco block has a self-locating lug which easily locks into the blocks above. Freestone Eco is available in a unique smooth finish which shimmers in the light or for a slightly extra cost an exposed aggregate finish. Purpose made 90 degree corner and capping units are available to provide a complete system. Freestone Eco retaining walls have a minimal setback which allows all available space to be utilised to the maximum. The large sized hollow blocks are easily filled with metal or for high walls no fines concrete. Alternatively they can be used with steel reinforcing and concrete core fill making them one of the strongest most versatile retaining wall systems available. Not to mention they can easily accommodate fences, handrails or services of capping systems. There's the bull nose 300mm or the large format 400mm exposed aggregate finish. To further enhance the finish of your Freestone Eco retaining wall, it's recommended to be sealed with a masonry sealer. Now let's see how easy it is to build a low height Freestone Eco retaining wall. Step 1, base preparation. Ensure the first course of blocks has at least 100mm of embedment. The base thickness of the fine crush rock must be at least 100 millimetres in depth. The base must be flat and level. Make sure you wet the base prior to compacting with a plate vibrator. Step 2 Sand Bed Prepare a 25 millimetres thick sand bed. Screened level, ready for the first course of blocks. Step 3. Laying the first course. Place the blocks on a level sand bed. Remember for sloping sites, always lay the blocks level. Step 4. Drainage. A 100mm diameter ag pipe is placed behind the wall ready for a 300mm wide blue metal drainage layer over. Step 5. Laying additional courses and backfilling. After every two or three courses of blocks are laid, fill all blocks with blue metal then backfill behind the wall to form a 300mm wide drainage layer. Step 6. Laying the capping. Clean any loose debris off the top. Set out capping units including any cuts or mitres on the top course. Then after straightening, individually remove each cap and then adhere back into place using the recommended adhesive. Step 7. Sealing the wall. The surface must be clean and dry, free of any loose material prior to sealing. Sealing will enhance the look of the wall. Now let's see how to build a greater height Freestone Eco retaining wall. All walls over 1 metre in height must be designed by an engineer. Option 1. Backfilling with no fines concrete. To increase the strength of a wall and to therefore build higher walls, no fines concrete is used as backfill to replace the blue metal drainage layer. The width of no fines concrete backfill should be designed by an engineer. No fines concrete still allows water to flow into the ag pipe drain. Wet the blocks prior to filling to allow easy flow of no fines concrete. Ensure all blocks are filled first before backfilling behind the wall. The no fines concrete adds strength to the wall and importantly allows the water to drain. 
remove 25% of the rear block wings to allow the concrete backfill to bond and key into the rear of the blocks. Option 2. Reinforced and concrete filled. All concrete footings should be designed by an engineer. Steel reinforcing should be to engineer's specification. For further information on the unique Freestone Eco Retaining Wall System, contact your nearest stockists. Reduce, reuse, recycle with the Sustainable Products for the Future range.